First off, I have no reason to tell any lies, as I've already been accused by somebody in the van life community of lying about this. Strangely enough, he has an affiliation to the product. It's one thing when a community comes together for safety, it's a seedier side when they clue together in order to discredit somebody that has been put out. My experience with single board computers goes back about 10 years. The actual programming language that most boards are based on, I can take back to my university days 20 years ago. I started with playing with single board computers for fun, building tools for light painting, building motorised camera sliders. I wanted a pixel stick, but £300, there's absolutely no way that I was going to get one. So in the end, I built one for £50 using a single board computer. You encode an image on an SD card, you press a button, it leaves a trail of light behind as you walk along in the pattern that was on the SD card. So getting back to the subject of this video. Whilst I was uh, watching the depths of YouTube, I discovered that I could port the Victron Colour controller over to the Raspberry Pi. It was a safe bet from what I could see. I tried it on a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, I got it to boot etc, opened up to the root, but then when I looked around it seemed a bit bits missing and the software doesn't seem to be getting developed. I sat and pondered on this information for weeks. Do I keep it with myself for when I get a van? I mean it would certainly help with a YouTube channel if I had one. It would never be my intention to monetize it and try and make money from it. The main problem is, due to me to current circumstances and health, I don't know when I'm going to be able to afford a van. Like I said, my aim was never to make money from it, or for anybody else to make money from it. Nobody in the UK van life scene had any idea that the Victron Colour controllers could be ported over to the Raspberry Pi until I opened my mouth. My concept was always to give it to the community, inform people how to do it, and help them as much as I could. And it would be most likely at my own expense. I kind of feel guilty now that I've allowed a bunch of greedy, selfish people to price it out of the reach of most young people, or people who have little, little funds, by shoving, them shoving £300 worth of profit on top of it. You can say it took time to do, but 90% of it was done by other people, not you. It's been developed in their free time, whilst they're not getting paid for it. After all, it is open source software and free to use. Off the shelf components and a couple of solar boards does not make £300. The seed of this started last year. Gadget John had a, a breakfast chat on a Sunday morning during uh, Greg Virgo's leading view at Stratford Racecourse. Strange that video was there a fortnight ago, since being taken down. It's like somebody's trying to silence me. It was during the course of that four hour live chat that I first mentioned that the colour controller could be ported over at the Raspberry Pi. From that, one person said that one person was spunky that he had an interest in doing something with a raspberry pi for his his van but he did not have a clue where to start as he'd said it was for his van okay i'll help him i pointed him to the video that is in the description below and also where to get the images from for the Raspberry Pi. It seems like they don't want to admit that I've done this now. I'm getting no credit. A couple of weeks ago, I wrote on Mark McCollum's Instagram posts that I was in a chat room one morning and how I had pointed Spunky in the right direction. Does he remember? I got no reply, apart from a couple of days later. He was telling somebody that I was trying to take it off him. If maybe if I got some recognition and credit, I would not be starting to 
developed a Raspberry Pi this week with the aim of not making money and just passing on the knowledge and helping people. The other thing that has uh, gone missing out of Mark McCollum's videos is when they were saying to each other, we didn't have a clue six months ago. If you look back to the one where he's updating for the generator, that was one of the instances where they said, hey, we didn't have a clue a month ago. That seems to be been edited out now. They just seem to want to wipe me out for like that never happened. Not acknowledge me in any way, shape or form. They've never even tried to talk to me. Anyhow, enough of that crap for now. So first of all, we've got a look at Raspberry Pi 3s. The start at about 20 quid, but like they usually sell between 25 and 35 quid. You can get a brand new one uh, for 30 quid. Simple. So the next thing is a screen of Pi 3. You can get one for 30 quid. Easy. If you want the original Pi 3 case uh, screen, then you're going to be paying 60 70 pound. And it's not really worth the money because they do exactly the same. The only difference is the different connection. It makes no difference to how it looks or how it is used. SD cards. SD cards are tenor. So PCBs, terminal blocks, wires, maybe a couple other things. For example, what, 30 uh, terminal blocks is about £1.45. And you'll never use 30. So in all about 8 to 10 quid, right? Resistors, you can get a ton of resistors, dead cheap. Uh, you can get about 30 resistors for £1.65. Tank sensor. Well, I put 30 to be generous, but there's one for 11 quid. Temperature sensors, two quid each, four quid. GPS modules with an external aerial. We'll push the boat out and see a tenner, shall we? Be generous. And I'm going to be really generous because you can put the, the, the GPS and the G, GSRM together for a tenner. But I'll put another tenner in anyway. Voltage, loads of different ways of controlling the voltage, stepping down the voltage to, to the pie, etc. So we'll see a fibre, be generous. And I forgot to put relays in, they're about a quid each, so safe. So four relays, that's four quid. So the totals are, with the relays, £132.65. The cheaper screen and 172 250 quid hardly a small profit is it you may think you'd say you've got other costs what like your time developing it your time developing it you should get over time not in one go i will say this again i never really give it the information to anyone for to make a profit to line the pockets the two of you both have jobs, do you really need the money that bad? Meanwhile, there's other van lifers that can't afford it because you're pricing it out of the market. You're making it into a premium thing. Big Ron charged £500. The idea of putting this out... The idea of putting this out publicly was that it was either done by one person and then that knowledge passed up around or it was sold at considerably less. Considering my circumstances, I was willing to do it. You've got jobs. Hey, you know, do you really need more money or is it just greed? Has greed taken over you? The sight of pound signs? 
and now you've got to discredit me just because you see me as a threat wouldn't it have been better just to have talked to us I made it perfectly clear who I was instead of going to the lengths of concluding with other people trying to wipe every sign that you know I had something to do with it I give you the information that started you along this path your integrity is going downhill sorry but it's you that's doing it 